Welcome back to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games. And today we're going to play Hack City. Now this is a roguelike deck builder that came out into early access on the 17th of June. So let's begin. We're going to be playing in the campaign mode. Hack City. A mega city steeped in corruption, greed, and apathy. An urban dystopia where the kind and caring are snuffed out in an instant by a soulless corporation. You have chosen to strike back. Fight your way to the impoverished streets of the sprawl, to the decadent towers of high city to take down the bane of your existence, the Megacorp. So we can spend credits to buy modification improvements for this specific run. Any changes that happen to our fight will be reset once the fight is over. And if we fall, the second win protocol will revive us. So essentially we got once per fight. So we always have like two chances per fight to survive. Nothing to lose. We can pick our character. We can be playing with the Copper Sand, the Banshee, and Dr. Rats. The main differences here are the special abilities. So the Copper Sand has momentum. Momentum attacks permanently gain more mana more damage each and every time they hit. Banshee does something called charge attacks. So charge attacks deal bonus damage as long as you keep hitting. So if you stop hitting, it will sort of reset the bonus. I can smell your fear. And finally, we've got Dr. Ack. So where the sicker your opponent is, the more damage you do with all of your attacks. So we have to sort of, first you kind of chip off of the enemy and once he gets slow, we can destroy him. We're going to be playing with the Banshee. <laughs> But I do quite like the character, so if you'd like, we might do another Let's Play with the Dr. Rats especially, so let me know if you would like that. Ex-resident of High City turned vigilante, Banshee strikes quickly and decisively from the shadows. By the time you see her face, it is too late. Yep. That's why nobody knows my name. It's Samstar, by the way. Because by the time I want to tell you, you're already dead. As you enter the hack lab, you're hit by a pungent smell. It's as though the hacktivists have tried to mask their body odor with the synthetic smell of honor cola. <laughs> okay. You hear a loud robotic utterance cutting through the white noise. Welcome to our autocracy of sorts. To take on Megacorp, we must first break free from our shackles. So we're going to claim our deck of cards. There are four types of cards in the game. We've got melee, which are red, ranged, which are blue, yellow, which are skilled, and then sort of like special one, which are hacks. Now, at the start of the game, you're supposed to pick your deck of cards. We can pick boost your strength, gain the hack advantage, or more power for hacking. I think we're going to go with boost your strength. I do like gaining additional strength because we can do a bit more damage. I'm not going to go over step by step over what these do, because in order to explain in the best way, we have to be in combat. So just consider it as if I was speaking randomly, even though I'm not. Okay? It is strange to finally meet the aspects in person. The leader of the most infamous hacker organization in all of Hack City is nothing like you imagined. It feels like he's ignoring you and focusing on some invisible threat. Let's get rid of that Megacorp surveillance junk stuck to your gear. Get ejected and ready for action. Now here we can pick our cards again. I'm not going to go over detail about what each of, each of them do because since you haven't seen the game yet, it's not going to be very exciting for you. So let me just pick. I'm going to pick this uh, Barrage Missile. Now this is a multi-attack, so it does three times two damage. And if it has the starter activated, which I'll tell you how to do that, it's going to be four times two damage. We'll grab that. Now we can pick another card. Ooh, has plus one damage for every move in your draw pile. Let's grab that. That's pretty cool. And then, then Heart Suit, I love this thing. Gain 8 Shield. Shield is a temporary protection for one turn. And it will also recharge your attacks, which means it will increase the damage that they do. I'm going to start off by fighting the Hypercharger. Hypercharger enters the fight with full throttle, high attack power, and damage negation the first turns. Make sure you survive the initial onslaught. Don't let your health drop too low. And counterattack when the shock has passed. I am going to destroy you, Banshee. She doesn't answer because the moment he sees her, he's dead. All right. Make sure it looks just like us. Okay. All right. So here we've got our deck of cards, and here we've got slots. Now we started with the initiative, it's going to be important in a moment. And the way this works is that you place these cards into the slot. If you place a card in the first slot, it gets the starter effect. If you place a card in the last slot, it will get a finisher effect if that card has a finisher effect. I'm going to start by placing the barrage over here. So we're going to do three times three damage. 
Oh, sorry. So it's yeah. So it's three damage three times. Okay. Then we're gonna put the white swing over here, and we're gonna finish this off with let's say a boot. Now we have put these in slots. They're gonna put their cards in a slot as well, and then each slots are gonna be so like fighting off against each other. And the way this works is that range beats melee, melee beats skill, and skill beats ranged. And if we have two of the same thing, they will both be activated and it's a tie. So we're going to click done and she, they're going to pick their cards. All right. So we can see because range speeds melee, we get to go. And then this is both a tie. Now, if we can use the green cards, the hacks, and they cost energy and we can do some sort of effect. For example, we could swap two of our cards. We could, um, Replace one of our moves with melee hidden blade, which does, uh, which does some damage. Or we could give an attack plus three damage this turn. So let's try to give plus three damage to this. Now then they go. You could also pass. However, be aware that if you pass, you cannot, um, they do something and you cannot then decide, okay, I, I don't want to pass. I want to do something now. That's not how it works. You already made your choice. So you have to kind of stick to passing. You cannot go back to it. So be careful of that. We're pretty happy. So we're going to pass and hope that they don't do anything. They don't. So now we do six damage three times. All right. And you can see that all of this is kind of happening. And because we had the initiative, we went first in the attacks. If they had initiative, they would go first. All right. So we're going to start off by placing this shield. That, that's always good for us. Then we'll follow it up with gain plus the strength and lose one toughness this fight. Now we might want to place this in here, but then we would only gain the shield up on the second attack and not the first one. And we'll finish it off with a cut. I do like having multiple type of cards here because we do have this swap. So we could potentially swap ourselves into a better position if we don't do that. Then uh, if you, for example, only have skills, you can't really help yourself. So what do we've got here? We could switch skill and range because our skill would beat the range and our range would be, beat the melee. So let's do that. Let's switch these two. And now none of these two cards are going to be played unless, okay, so they're placing this there instead and we can't do anything anymore. Okay. So we do not get that thing, but we do get the shield at least. And this card is charged. Oh yeah, our shield actually recharged another card. So that card there, you can't see it right now, but maybe later. It is now charged, which means it's going to do one additional damage. Let's place this range barrage missile first, then we'll go with another wide swing and we'll finish it off. Actually, we should start with the shield though. Let's put the shield in the middle and the wide swing last. You do heal between combat, so you don't have to worry too much about it. So they pass, they're not doing anything with their hacks. So we don't need to do anything either because we are already winning. All right, three times three damage. We gain our shield and we charge this. This is now four times three and this is now 11 damage. And we kill them, nice. Now by the time we're ready for the next combat, we will be fully healed. We're gonna gain some credits. All right, and draft and move and hack pair. Nice. So we could either pick Heart Seeker, expend, expend, so remove these cards for the rest of the match. Give the attack in your next slot life steal. Ooh, that's actually really, really good. And it also does six damage by itself. So this is a really strong thing. Replace one of your move with random move from your draw pile. Yeah, so, the, so this is useful on something that you know it's not going to work anyway. So you can just like try and see maybe do I get a different... Uh, card type essentially vulnerable three vulnerable applies to the vulnerable defense increasing damage opponent takes by 50 percent for three turns because it's three give an attack plus three damage this turn roll a derby recharge your attacks and play with plus one charge an additional plus one charge for every hack you play this turn Ooh. so if we play hack and then do roll a derby that would be pretty strong give any move suppress suppress means it kind of like removes all the text on the card and only activates like the attack but i think i like the first thing the best so we'll take that Oh, we can get another set of these. Shriek. Shuffle your discard part into your draw pile and recharge the attack in your next slot with plus one charge for every move in your draw pile. Wowza. This is super powerful. Like, imagine... That's going to be like maybe six six charge or something. If we, we can do this on the multi-hit card, that'd be insane. I, I think nothing else is going to be as good as that. Slow... Damage bonus from strength is double this move. So slow means that if there's another melee card with this, 
and it's a tie, we will actually not be able to play ourselves because we are slow, so they go first. I think we'll go with the Shriek, though. Now, at this point, we can either choose to go to the Hack Lab, draft one move, so one card, or Harvest Cryptocurrency, so we're going to gain credits and, and lose adjacent swap. Now, I am going to draft one more move. I would like a multi-attack. Yeah, this one is slow, but it's automatically charged for two, so this should be four times three damage. And yeah, we're just going to go with that. Okay, the clogway. It's mostly brown and water. Ooh. The stench alone is reason enough that most people avoid this place. There are few reasons to come down to the clogway except to escape or find a safe route through the city. You're suddenly accosted by some odd and smelly person. Hey, tough cider. Want a tray straight for dinner? I make best stew pot with lots of beans. After rambling for a time, he catches name Max. Let's. We could eat the stew. I think this is probably going to hurt our health, but might give us some sort of a permanent bonus. Let's try the stew. Oh, we can draft the card. I thought we might get something better. With some reservation, you put a spoonful of the thick brown substance into your mouth. To your surprise, this was actually a bean stew, and I don't care to get what else. I don't dare to guess what else this stew contains. As you take another bite, something gets stuck between your teeth. Ooh. Ooh. You get a randomized trial, we already have one of those. Has plus three damage for every hack you play this turn. And another, uh, we definitely want another barrage. I think barrage is good. And especially with the special ability we've got. Another hypercharger. So let's do this. It's like looking in the mirror. I agree. But I shall destroy the mirror and you will die. Uh, we probably have a lot of move in our, in our draw pile, so let's start with Shriek. And then we'll follow this with Barash. And maybe Night Ritual? So it's gonna give us plus three strength. I wonder if I should place this first and then those two. This doesn't need to be in our. Yeah, maybe we'll do it. We'll, we'll kind of switch it around because we, we this doesn't need to go first and having the extra strength is going to be useful. All right, so they passed. So will we. And we're going to play everything. So we're going to gain our strength, which is good. But they're going to lose the toughness, so they're going to do a little bit more damage. And this is 13 times 2. See how powerful that card is? That is just epic. Give me, so give myself a shield. Now, because of the increased strength, this does a bit more damage than usual. Give the attack in your next slot life steal. We don't need a life steal right now, so we're just gonna go for a boot and a regular attack. Again, I'm trying to keep it varied so that we can use our stuff. Switching these two things would not be helpful at all. We could switch this for a melee attack. Let's do it. We're going to use Hidden Blade and just get a regular attack here. 7 times 2. Nice. He's going to do 11 times 2. That's not great. Could we... Give an attack plus 3 damage this turn. We could do 10 times 2 then. 14 times 2. Ooh. That hurts. That hurts a lot. 34 damage is what they're going to do. We do have the shield, which is great. Because we're going to need that. But, yeah. On that hand, we only need to do 10 damage to kill it. So this shouldn't be that difficult. Let's start with uh, 7 times 3. Then White Swing. And then... We'll start with the Barrage and we'll put the 7 times 3 last. Okay, what are they doing? Increasing this to 5 times 2. We could skip this so we have both Slow and Slow. Oh, but we can we can only swap adjacent though. Alright, I guess we'll swap this for anything else because this won't be activated anyways. But did that not work? I'm not quite sure. This is wow. We can do nine damage, which is not enough to kill it. And they've got initiative, so they'll go first. Well actually we'll still be able to kill it because it's only gonna do 24 damage and we can still win. But yeah. This is, we're getting hit quite hard here. Nice, they're still dead though. 14 HP, you get healed up, it's all, it's all good. It's all good. All right, we could loot a safe house, safe house and get synergy draft. Purchase, pay 100 credits to gain 
reroute power at the end of each turn gain plus two strength and lose one toughness this fight well might not be terrible or we could go for a fight let's do a dilute the safe house first expand your opponent thinks puffed person additional damage when vulnerable and overhead cut with double damage Rollerblade or Rooked Boots. Double damage again has plus two damage for every hack anyone has played this turn. Or rest in pieces. Create and put a fatality hack on top of your hack pile. What's a fatality? P give an attack plus 10 damage and lock this turn. So locked means that it cannot be swapped. Kind of like it, but it costs five energy to play the fatality. Onslaught, expend and give vulnerable two on the enemy and four times two. Yes, we want multi-attacks. It's what we do. Pay 250 credits to gain Spark Drive. At the start of a fight, reach out all your melee attacks with plus one charge. Yes, please. Or under the knife. Draft a mod, gain a random wound. Replace a move with uh, another move or the center. Now, I want the Spark Drive. So this is a permanent effect that we're going to have on ourselves. At the start of a fight, recharge all your melee attacks with plus one charge. That's really good. Dementia decree trash from card. Replace move with same type and another synergy draft. Let's do replace move with same type. I'm gonna pick this cut and get something else. Some other melee card. Ooh, finisher. Charge to recharge this move with plus four charges. Very good. Finisher has plus two damage for every move in your draw pile. Or this, this move gains fast when it becomes charged and loses fast when it's uncharged. Both of these are really, really good. I think we'll go with this charged blade here. Purchase combat enhancements. Sure. We only have 35 credits, so we can't afford anything. So let's just go. That was kind of quick. And another hypercharger to fight. All right. What do we've got here? Alright, we'll start with this, we'll put it last because it's going to give us that bonus. Then we're going to get a shield protection and give, we don't need a lifesteal, so we'll just do, I think we'll do a bolt. I would like that ranged attack here. Oh, we don't get that shield at the start though, that's not ideal. We could replace it for melee, sure. That way they won't hit us. Oh, they're doing the same thing. Okay, okay, that's fine. I can see that. Okay, so maybe we'll do a damage to each other. Oh, they're, they're hitting me actually harder than I'm hitting them here. This charge thing on their side is not ideal for me. But they're doing some damage. And we've got the charge plus four there. Night ritual, gain plus three strength. Ooh, this is really good. Let's do shriek. Then barrage and then wide swing. Done. Great. Are we gonna risk it and pass? I think we're gonna risk it and pass. They're charging that up, which is fine because they can't play any of the other things, which is important to me. Yeah, this is 15 times two now. Ha! Huh. That's epic. They almost did. They're dead now. No, actually, six more damage we gotta do. We'll put this last. Shield first. And a bolt. Maybe. We gotta hit them first. So this is locked. They can't move that away. The press is not particularly beneficial. If I could swap to adjacent. Yeah, nothing, nothing's gonna help me here. Well, actually we could, we could swap this for random. Hope that we get a ranged thing. Sure, let's give that a shot. Great, yeah, that's great. Cause we wanna be, we wanna hit them hard. They'll deal double damage, which is irrelevant because I'm the one hitting them first. Good. Nice. I gotta say, I like this game quite a bit. I like it, the slot mechanic, which makes it kind of interesting, like whether you can even play a card. That's a really, really cool thing. And they say chivalry is dead. 
Everybody knows about Lux and his fall from grace. After Richard Bliss opened Blissline across the street with its high-end and luxurious amenities, Lux has been hemorrhaging clients at an alarming rate. As you enter this establishment of ill repute, the man himself comes to greet you. Welcome to my most auspicious guest. An enemy of Richard Bliss is a friend of mine. Let's get you in shape, shall we? Get a draft rare move or a mod? Let's get a draft rare mod. At the start of every turn, get a random attack in your deck plus two damage this fight. Nice. Next two cards you expend are moved to this card, but instead of being removed, you keep plus 75% of your shield at the end of the turn. I like that, but I'm not sure if we're using enough of our shield cards to go. This means we should build for shield build, which we could, but we're kind of focusing on something. I think I'll go with the refurbisher. It seems to be work well with our with our multi-hit. Gain credits, lose hidden blade. Kind of like that though. Well, I actually think this is a good time to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments and let me know if you'd like me to do another video with some of the other characters because I like this game quite a bit. Alright, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!